Jesus, we honor you. We honor you. Da da da. Da da da. Da da da. Ah. Over Nigeria, we cry tonight. Ah. Let your kingdom come. Ah.
Can you make it a prophet? Holy Ghost, you are lift your voice. Aha. You are causing life. You are causing your life to shine. There is a body in my spirit. Sing it again. You are doing something. Lift your hands now. Lift your hands. Holy Ghost, you are blue. Over. The lifting up of the earth is a sign of surrender. You are passing. Concentrate now. Lift your voice and sing. Holy Ghost, you are Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Your kingdom come in Nigeria. Your will be done. Your people stand before you. The king of the kingdom. Majesty on high. The spirit of the age to come. The one who kill it and make it alive. The Lord God of hosts. The Lord of heaven's armies. Yeshua. Yeshua. Yeshua, Amashia, my God, Lion of Judah, Adonete, Yeshua, Amamos Kamen, Aha, Amashia, El Aprende Pende La Dao. Thank you. Thank you for your presence in this place. Thank you, sweet spirit of God. Ah. We are thrown. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Please, you may be seated. You may sit down. Please sit down. Please sit down. Sit down. Please let me have my time so that I can know the extent to which I will share this evening. Let me have the time to know. Is it six minutes? Please let me have the time. Good evening, everybody. It's a privilege to be with us this evening. Thank you for the opportunity. We thank God for how the retreat has been going. We are talking about something that is very, very important. We're talking about the kingdom of God. I'm certain that you have been taught a few things. Is that true? Is that true? God, we have many of you this evening. Here with some of my friends, uh, Evangelist Isaac, Sister Bisola, Sister Treasure. I'm here with many of my friends. Can we just celebrate them one minute? Just say, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. 
So what is the kingdom of God? Thank you. Can you hear me very well? What is the kingdom of God? Anybody? What is the kingdom of God? Oh, are you checking your notes? What is the kingdom? Okay, good. I know my time. What is the kingdom of God? Okay, no good. Okay. The original intention of God for man is not salvation. Genesis chapter 1 verse, I will be a bit gentle for now, today. It's just, you open your spirit. Okay? I don't wait for the time, maybe they lay hand before the word enters. If the word, I'm sorry, if the word enters you, something will change about you. The original intention of God for man is not salvation. The original intention of God for man is the kingdom. Remember, Jesus is actually recognized from the beginning not as Savior but as Lord as King as God but it is true that the Lamb of God I want to engage your thoughts most times when people come to church they don't have time to really think I, I want to engage your thoughts you be thinking along with me but the scripture also tells us that do you remember the Bible says that it's the Lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world are we together are we together John the Baptist introduced him as that. But in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, whoever is at the project, I have is heaven. A lot of scriptures. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Remember that at creation, Genesis chapter 1, the Bible said that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Uh -huh, and the earth was without form and void. And the Spirit of God hovered upon the face of the deep. And God said, Let there be light. So, verse 26. Can we, can we read together? If you can see it, let's read it together, please. One to go. And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have. Well, now, now, there is a word used there. It's a political word. The word is to me. Yeah. Did he say, Let them have salvation? He said, Let them have dominion. And now he began to list the things that man ought to have dominion over. Read the things that man should have dominion over. Over the fish of the... Uh -huh, over the fowl of the air. Uh -huh, and over the cattle. And over all the earth. Number five. And over every creeping thing that creepeth. Did he say over man? Did he say over man? The way people are looking at me is like, you just want the fire, you just want the fire. That's the Bible study first. Right? Did Jesus say, let them have dominion over man? Huh? He said over things, Abi, and even over all the earth, but not over the people. So, dominion, according to the design of God, is that man actually carries his nature, then reflects his nature, then manifests and expresses his nature in the earth. The word image there is the word nature and character. The only reason why God will give man dominion is because man has his spirit. So if man is not in the image of God, he should not represent God. Are we together, please? Oh, Jesus. The word kingdom, what is kingdom? You can separate it into two. Is that true? King and domain. Ah, like you will be taught.
opened domain where the will, the intention, the desires of a king, a monarch finds free expression. Now, when Adam sinned, I'm trying to do basic Bible study for you because it's not everybody that are on the same page. So, when Adam sinned, the Bible tells us clearly, Romans chapter 3 verse 23, it says, for all have sinned and what? Of the glory of God. So that means that there was there was a fracture. Something happened. There was a depletion in man. And as a result of that, man actually lost that privilege of dominion. Remember that the Bible tells us that God instructed Adam and told him that the day you eat of the fruit of this tree, you shall surely die. Are we together please? You shall surely die. But when Adam ate of it, did he die? He died how? What does he mean by dying spiritually? I didn't just say dying spiritually. What, what does that mean? What's the implication of that? Talk. Feel free to talk, please. Huh? Huh? Separation. Was he no more in Eden? He was in Eden. So what is the separation you are talking about? Huh? Separation from God. How? Now, in that same Genesis, the Bible tells us that actually the communion that Adam used to have with God, the Bible says the voice of God walks in the midst of the garden. That's what the Bible says. The voice of God walks in the midst of the garden. So the separation you are talking about is not first that they changed him out of Eden. Uh -uh. The separation is that the source of his life was already cut off. So physical death actually is only a byproduct of the fall of the real death that has occurred in his inside. I don't, I don't know how to explain. In Genesis chapter 1, remember that God created heaven and earth. In chapter 2 again, there was creation. But what happened was that Genesis chapter 1 was like a, a spiritual, they were showing us a spiritual protocol, how it happened. That's why in chapter 2 he said, and now God now blessed them and told them, be fruitful and multiply. Replenish the earth and subdue it. So when man sinned, man lost something. What man lost actually was the ministry of the spirit that allows for intimacy with the invisible God. You know that God will not be lying when he said through Moses that no man has seen me at any time. You know God will not be lying now. Huh? What man lost was more than a relationship. Man lost more than a relationship. Man also lost right and authority to rule as God originally designed. Because I want you to get this thing so that the things I'll begin to share after you begin to assimilate it. But somebody must represent God on the earth. Are we together? Somebody must represent God. And remember that man was made in the image and likeness of who? But in Genesis, when you read chapter 4 and chapter 5, Bible tells us that Adam, the Bible says, and Adam, they now began to give birth in his own image after his own likeness. Now that image and likeness, there was already an alteration. Are we together? Because the original plan was already distorted. So any product that comes out of a distorted image will carry a nature that contradicts the original plan of God. If this was not the reality, then Satan did not need to come to the garden. Have you ever asked, how can Satan enter the garden? Do you remember that when God even set Adam away, God had to put angel there. Eh? Is it not your Bible? Oh, Jesus. Is it your Bible? God put, why did God put angel there? <laughs> because God knows that. Okay, who did Adam lose dominion to? Who did Adam lose dominion to? Oh my, are we bad? You know, this is retreat. Who did he lose dominion to? To who? Uh huh. To Lucifer. Remember, Lucifer was called Star of the Morning, right? The anointed cherub that covered it. 
Lucifer frustrated the plan of God. God chased him away. Lucifer was jealous of man. And then he went to make sure that man also repelled it. Because God said that I, I love man so much. This new one that I've made now. Uh, Lucifer said this one. He will, he will, he will curse you. He will rebel it. So when man sinned, what really hurt God was not just that man sinned. It was also that Lucifer proved himself right in a way that I told you that nothing you make can actually bring you pleasure. I, I, you, don't, you don't like Bible study. Do you like Bible study? Okay. Now, when Adam sinned, God caused a forceful sent forth out of the Garden of Eden. That's, is that correct? He slaughtered, um, he cut leaves and put on their body, Abby. He co co covered them with skin and then released them out of the garden. But before he released them, he raised some curses. Is that true? Aha. Uh -huh. But in his verses, he also promised redemption that was to come. He said, the seed of the woman shall bruise the Genesis 3.15, the, the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent. And who is the seed of the woman? Huh? Jesus Christ is the seed of the woman. Why did Jesus now come? Why did Jesus come? Huh? Oh my God. Why? So feel free. Why did Jesus come? To redemption of man. I don't want to probe you too much here. I would have said, What is redemption? Redemption is deliverance with a price, Abby. Eh? Who is God paying the price to? I didn't say who is he paying the price for. Who is God pray, paying the price of redemption to? <laughs> it can't be man now. Who is God paying the price of the sins of man to? <laughs> Somebody says it. Who? How can it be Jesus? It's Jesus that is the sacrifice. <laughs> eh? <laughs> don't worry after this meeting you will love bible study you will love bible study so who did he pay it okay you are not sure who he paid but he paid the price huh? <laughs> mm. you see if you are not valuable in the sight of God God will not send Jesus to die you agree with that one Abby but you don't know who he paid the price Now I'm looking at where to now start now because <laughs> okay, let's check scriptures. Let's check scriptures. And I was thinking I would just okay, let's see scriptures. Let me show you two things from scripture. What the kingdom of God is not. something in my heart but I need to teach you okay let's do Isaiah 53 first I, Isaiah 53 Isaiah is a messianic prophet Isaiah began to prophesy he said who had believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed he said he shall grow up from before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground uh -huh. he says he had no form nor comeliness and when we shall see him there is no beauty that we should desire him. Uh -huh. He is despised and afflicted of men. Uh -huh. A man of sorrows acquainted with grief. Uh -huh. oh. And we hid as it were our faces from, from him. Uh -huh. And he was despised and we esteemed him not. Verse 4. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows Yet we did extend him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. Aha! Uh -huh. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. Are we Bible students? Uh, the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes. 
all we last sheep have gone astray we have gone every man his own way now the bible now said it, he said yet it pleased the lord to bruise him the reason why god bruised him was because of you not because of him because jesus even on the cross he was not a sinner the bible says he who knew no sin became sin for us are we together even on the cross he didn't know sin he couldn't sin it's not just does not want to sin he can sin I'm asking God for mercy John chapter 18 how many of you are in order level? Do you have anybody in order level? Raise it very well. 200 level. John 18, 18 36. Let's do Bible study now. John 18 36. Now, the story in this chapter was the times of the sufferings of Jesus and he was about to go to the cross now here is Jesus before Pontius Pilate that man began to discuss with him and tell him different things and the Pharisees were answering him now he asked Jesus a question and Jesus just felt like okay let me, let me tell you a little now hear what Jesus says my kingdom is not of this world <laughs> you know I told you what the kingdom of God is not the kingdom of God is not of this world now that means that the kingdom of God is not a physical kingdom as it were for now the kingdom of God is not a material kingdom the kingdom of God is not a political kingdom. The kingdom of God is a spiritual kingdom. <laughs> Please say after me. Say the kingdom of God. Oh, say very well. Say the kingdom of God is a spiritual kingdom. Now let's read Bible together. One to read. Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, uh -huh, then would my servant fight. They would do what? So let's address one matter here quickly now. Any religion where the adherent need to fight to dominate is a sign that that religion is weak. And that God cannot help himself. How many of you have read church history? Church history. There are some people called the crusaders. There was a time in church history where some people were actually behaving like the way some people are behaving now. They, they thought it was about killing people for Jesus. Remember that even Saul of Tarsus actually thought that he was doing God a favor by persecuting the, the Christians. Jesus said, if my kingdom is a political kingdom, ah, Peter is there now. People would have fought. They said, uh -uh. this kingdom is not a, a natural kingdom. It's not a physical kingdom. It is not of this world. Now, the word of means it is not derived from here. Is that correct? Is that correct? If it is not derived of this world, that means it cannot be powered by the elements of this world. Okay, this is what I mean. Remember that scripture says that that which is seen, they are temporal. But the things that are not seen, they are eternal. So that the things which are seen were made from the things which do not appear. The kingdom of this world 
is already destined for decay is already destined for putrefaction it will fade away whether we like it whether we pray or not that this world will pass away is that true is that true now if that is true where should our focus be you see no not just heaven because if the goal of god is just heaven the day we got born again we should be in ah. Ah. let me say something jesus never desired and never pray to God that God should help him to dominate this world. The church of God is not. Can I talk to you this night? Can I talk to you this night? The church of God was not actually designed to dominate the world. No. The church of God is not designed to dominate the world. The church of God is designed to represent the Lord. It's not the same thing. Okay, there is something, those of you that read books, there is something called the Seven Mountain Prophecy, Abi. How many of you heard of Seven Mountain? The mountain of music. Media. Raise up your hand if you have. Jesus, where, where have all of you been? Raise up your hand if you have heard of Seven Mountain Prophecy. Raise up your hand. Oh, you have not. Okay, but have you ever heard of Cosmos? Somebody say, ah, Jesus. Okay. Have you ever heard of when people are talking about the systems of this world, then they will say the music, the media, the arts, and it. have you heard it before? You people don't listen to sermons. Have you heard it before? <laughs> the goal of God. See. <laughs> Let's ask God for mercy this day. See, the goal of God, Sars and Mars, is not to dominate this world. You know that God is omniscient, God is wise. How can God want to dominate this world? God wants to dominate this world. For what? Did he say, let us have dominion? He said, let them. He didn't say, let them. What? <laughs> if all that you are living for is this world ah, there is a big problem because the kingdom of Jesus is not of this world so we can pursue many things as we like but remember that the kingdom of God is not of this world that means we cannot do like this world are we together it, it, it's too basic I mean. it's too basic some of you are not understanding this that's why I'm being basic because you don't understand it. If the kingdom of God is not of this world, then our goal is not to dominate this world. A world that will pass away, you want to dominate it. If you know that a horse has time bomb on it, will you ride it? Would you ride it? So, wise. <laughs> Let's do Bible study. The way people are doing is Bible study that you need first. Because listen, if we shout fire upon an empty head, it's a waste of fire. Let's do Bible study. Now let's read John 18 36 again. It's one to read. Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight aha uh -huh, that i should not be delivered to the jews but now my kingdom now is my kingdom not from here so our goal is not to take over the world system the christian's goal is not to take over the world system please tell your neighbor say neighbor <laughs> your goal is not to take over something that is bound to be destroyed. It's not. It's not. 
So, okay, so ask your name. So, so what then is the goal? If, if we are not taking over, we say we won't take over. So, if we are not taking over, <laughs> so what, what, what's our gain now? Matthew chapter 26, verse 51 and 52. Verse 51. 51. Uh They wanted to come and carry Jesus. Hear what Jesus said. The scripture says, And behold, one of them which were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smote off his ear. You know, Judas came, right? He kills Jesus. And Jesus said, friend, uh, what's the issue? He said, okay, whatever you want to do, do quickly. And then they wanted to catch Jesus. And one of them smote the ear. And what happened? No, no, no. Go back to 51. You didn't read it very well. Read it again, please. One to read. And behold, one of them which were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the... Whose servant did he strike? So, the servant of the high priest was not well taught to know that the person you want to go and arrest is the reason for why the high priest is in the temple. You don't understand. <laughs> because in the days of Jesus, there were two high priests. Obamejo Jele, Joye, Niafi, Anayas, and Caiaphas were the high priests. It has never happened before. It's always one high priest. This one, there are two high priests. It's a monster. It's only a monster that is an animal that has two heads. Ananias and Caiaphas were the high priest. So one of the high priest servants, <laughs> they, were, they came to arrest Jesus. The Pharisees could not hire other people. It's high priest servants that they brought to come and arrest Jesus. Ah. I don't know if I can say some things to you, whether you hear it. One of the enemies of the church in the last days his unconverted brethren. <laughs> you can come out for altar call and you are not born again. Let's stop deceiving ourselves and say, eh, I, I, but you are a Christian. It's a lie. By their fruit. It's not all day that I mean. You can't be born again believing like the devil. The software we show in the output. Is that correct? Let's deceive ourselves. Eh? When Saul got born again, did everybody not know? Did everybody not know? They knew now. How come you, you got born again? Nobody still knows. They are still checking. Are you? You have not met the Jesus of the Bible. You met keyboard and bass voice. You didn't meet Jesus. Leave that. Leave that. Verse 52, please. Then said Jesus unto him, Put up again your sword into his place. For all they that take the sword shall please read it loud because I want to talk now. All they that take the sword shall now the killings that is happening presently in Nigeria. Let's read this Bible to them. All they that <laughs> shall pay. Hey. Can I make one encouraging announcement to you? As much as I am burdened for the church in Nigeria, because there is a big problem. But let me make one announcement up front. You cannot kill the church. We don't have spirit. Where are this? I say we cannot kill the church. You can't kill the church, sir. Unless you don't know the church we are talking about. Because when Jesus died, Jesus did not come to give us a church. He didn't come to give us a denomination. He didn't come to give us a religion. He didn't come to give us any government. He came to give us the kingdom. That means if another kingdom person sees another one in another state, you can know that this one, although we are not the same tribe, we are not speaking the same language, but there is something about you that tells me that the same water that I drink from is where you drink. Of course, we know that in the kingdom there is a language that unites us. It's called the Holy Ghost. There is ah, when you hear, ah. but um, 
Even unfortunately today, there are people that speak in tongues, but that tongues is not powered by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. So, you want to enforce your ideology on a territory and on a nation. You gather ammunition. You can kill everybody. God. <laughs> the church cannot die. It can't die. Do you know one of the reasons why it's as though many it's as though notice the word I'm using it's as though many Christians are leaving Christianity many of them were not original Christians or the one that tried to be a Christian the lives of the so called Christian irritated them and they said if this is Jesus I don't want So you gather ammunition, you are you are slaughtering pastors. You, you are not wise. Read your Bible very well. Every nation where they killed the servants of God, they were in trouble for it. You don't know. <laughs> you know one of my prayers recently now. The full and new and I will say people. Let the evangelists be plenty among them. Because you see, anybody that is killing the church, don't worry. It's your grandchildren that will be evangelists. <laughs> Because God will require their blood from your grandchildren, and they are, their souls will be saved, and then they will come. Out. That thing that you thought you would kill. There's something in political science called thesis, synthesis, and antithesis. I don't know if you've been taught something like that. That when you present an ideology, contained within that ideology is the seed of its own destruction. That means that your ideology to run an alternate course against the church and against the kingdom is actually a waste of effort and money and time. Because contained in your ideology is the seed of his own destruction. A house divided against his head. You know, people are shouting, oh, Christians are divided. The church is not united. It's because you don't know which church you are talking about. The church of Jesus Christ is one. There are many other groups that are other religions that are divided. It's just because they didn't pay. How many of believers will talk against their alpha on social media? Have you ever seen any of your Muslims? Eh? It's only you that have the guts to write rubbish. Uh, yeah. Because you are not white. You see now, because you are not kingdom. But the kingdom of Jesus is not of this world. So please remind yourself say the kingdom of Jesus is not of this world. Say the kingdom of Jesus is a spiritual kingdom. Say the kingdom of Jesus is an eternal kingdom. Say we don't need to take up swords. Now, now that does not mean that we'll be indifferent to and allow them to slaughter us. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying that many Christians, many people that are running away from the faith, another thing that is wrong with them is they were not taught properly. There are some people in church who have never heard a message on persecution. They have never heard any message on tribulation. So they don't even know what. So when it begins to happen, rather than for them to rejoice, they will run away to say, hey, I'm not serving Jesus again. You failed an exam. You are not serving Jesus again. Exam. Exam. Of what is? They didn't even cut two ears first and one leg. Then you say, okay. Exam. I'm not serving Jesus. I'm persecuting. Thank you, Jesus. Point number two. The reason why Jesus died is to put the kingdom of God within men. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. The reason why Jesus died is to what now? To put the kingdom of God within men. Please say it out loud. The reason why Jesus died is to put the kingdom of God within men. Luke chapter 17, verse 21. Ah, thank you. Luke 17, 21. Okay, give us verse 20. Let me show you something in verse 20. Can we please read one to read? And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, 
when the, now the Pharisees came to ask him about the kingdom because they were politically inclined they thought that the kingdom of God the Messiah that was to come would be an earthly ruler with his regalia and you know 12 12 servants by the left and 12 servants by the right he said when should the kingdom come Jesus answered them and said the kingdom of God cometh not with observation next verse now he now said neither shall they say lo here is the kingdom for behold the kingdom of God that means that what Jesus is emphasizing is that the reason why Jesus left was so that the Holy Ghost could come and it is the indwelling of the Holy Ghost finding expression in your outward life that manifests what the kingdom of God is so that means that the kingdom of God is in men who carry the spirit of the king Are you understand so the kingdom of God is in those who carry the spirit of the king because remember that Jesus is the king of kings Abby is Jesus the king of kings now he has left I hope you know Jesus is in heaven sitting at the right hand of the father how many of you know that that's what scripture says now but if Jesus is no more physically on earth walking around the street how would we now know the will of Jesus because Jesus said I actually have many things to tell you but you cannot bear them now but he now says how be it when the spirit of truth of the kingdom comes he said will guide you you see that now so the spirit of the king is what empowers us to live like the king notice not the layman's of the pastor not the vibrant preaching of the preacher not the anointing oil the spirit of the king is what empowers us to do what to live so that means that if i want to live like the king i need what the spirit somebody says spirit so that you will know that the purpose of the holy ghost in your life is not tongues that's all because salvation is actually the entry point into practical kingdom life salvation is just like a remedial option to bring you out of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son colossians tells us he says what delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated are we bible students now? and has translated us into where the kingdom of his dear son how colossians 2 14 for that tells us he says blotting out the handwriting of ordinances written against us contrary to us he said taking it out of his way and nailing it to his cross having spoiled principalities and powers he made the show of them openly triumphing over them in it so the matter we are discussing is, is a very serious matter but unfortunately we have reduced the kingdom of God to the opposite of the reason why Jesus died so when we say kingdom, the first thing we say kingdom, ah, ah, eh, I must have, I must have my own, eh, my, the kingdom of God is never about you, it's about him. Did you, he said the kingdom of God, he didn't say your own. The cross is not about you, it's about him. It's true that he loved you, he died, it's true, but it is still about him. Life itself is about him, eternity is about him. The Tower of Babel that they were building in Genesis chapter 4. Why did God confound it, their language? Was it because they used their imagination? No, there was something in their heart. There was a total deviation from, from within. They wanted to live a civilization that is independent of God. Unfortunately, we have the Tower of Babel now in the hearts of many people. Building a tower that reaches up to heaven, but not that reaches up to God, to heaven. To make a name. For themselves unfortunately we in church that's what people are seeking to make the same thing those people were seeking so some christians say they are confused you are confused because what you are seeking is to make a name for yourself that's why you are confused amen isaiah 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 chapter one
verse 4 to 13. <laughs> Can we read together, please? We are going to 13. See, one of the principles of spiritual growth huh, is to read your Bible. Read it. Read your Bible. Then desire to live out what you learned. That's how you will grow. Let's read scripture. One to read. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. Uh Aha, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have, they have done what to the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They have gone away backward. Next verse. I, I'm, I'm showing you what this generation is. Next verse. Why should he be stricken anymore? He will revolt more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. Next verse, please. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no sound. <laughs> But wounds and bruises and putrefying. You know, Yoruba Mani Oti Ke. You understand what it means by Ke? Putrefying souls. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Next. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land strangers devoid in your in your and it is desolate as overthrown by oh yeah <laughs> and the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage in a vineyard as a lodge in a garden of <laughs> as a besieged city Ex- now let read now except the Lord of hosts has left unto us a very a very small remnant we should have been a Sodom and we should have been verse 11 to what thank you sir to what purpose is the now now God is asking you, Christian in Nigeria, that goes for every crusade and every convention, carries bottle of anointing oil and go and and buy the church wristband, wear the church handkerchief. Now, let's read what Jesus said. Want to read? To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices? Say it who? Is it me that I say it now? Somebody already frowning at me now. Is it me? Say it who, sir? Uh huh. I am full of the burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed beast. God said, Oh, I will sue me. And I delight not or of lambs or of eagles. Verse 12. When ye come to appear before me, who hath required this at your hand to tread my court? Who is asking? Verse 13. Please read this one out loud and let your neighbor hear it under God. Want to go? Bring no more vain oblation. Wait. Wait. What we call hunger now, for some of us, it has become a religion. It's a church cliche. Now, every program now, you say, hunger, the hunger, the passion. And it's, it's just a cliche. I told you the last time I came around last week. The, the proof of hunger, the proof of hunger, is not. Blah, 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 blah. You know when they when you hold mic, the fire is on you. When you drop mic, you can't pray again. You want the service to close. That one is no hunger. The proof of hunger is that you sit down with your Bible and you are reading Bible. <laughs> it's not that you are chanting. <laughs> you are reading your Bible. You know why? Because for fire to remain, it needs wood to be added. Is that correct? 
what is the wood that you add to the fire that you receive? It's the word of God, sir. So you don't have wood, but you want fire. You will waste it. So most times you notice after a service, I want powerful program or the man of God powerful. After you say, ah, ay, 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 ah, then I, I give it two days. They will ask you for the title of the message. You have talking about the ability to be consistent <laughs> so that come rain come shine the new moons and the sabbath the calling of Hashem is like I cannot away with it is iniquity even the solemn meeting ah. even the solemn meeting that ought to be solemn meeting say it's iniquity join them to do program because everybody's doing program. Program is not a must. You're a young person, you're ready to yeah, my own ministry, my own ministry. I must I must do my own program. Let me look for one click. Let me give my own click. Ah. That's why Jesus did not die for program. Do you understand? He died for really change. You know? Change. Somebody say change. For red one, no, not this one. Change. Okay, give me verse 17. Don't worry, you will pray and fire, but uh, let's, let's do Bible study. Verse 17. What is God telling us? Learn to do well. I'm teaching you this kingdom way, you know, even in Old Testament. Learn to do well. Seek judgment. Relieve your bread. Judge the fatherless. Plead for the widow. Verse 18. Come now. And let us uh-huh. Say it to the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If you read Isaiah chapter 1, you will start crying. If you check the remaining verses, you will start crying. Jeremiah 28. Jeremiah 28. Let's just do five verses. Verse 14, verse 17, uh, then verse 21 to 28. Verse 14. C- can we read? In case you are also here and you are passionate about ministry, hear what Jesus has to say this night. Let's read. Want to read? I have seen also in the pro. Okay. Do we would like to stand up to read the word or we are okay like this? Will you read? Oh yeah, let's read. Want to read? I have seen also in you know now if you if you are not bearing prophet or apostle people will not hear you <laughs> the proof that you are a prophet is not that you call the correct phone number the proof that you are a prophet is that you can declare the counsel of God to a generation and as you said it is how it is that's how you are a prophet not the, the ah hey the prophet has come that the killer is ah you, you are blind. That's why you are looking. <laughs> that, that the e- 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 ring for e- ring for me, no. And I say, okay, send your name, send your name. Are you a herbalist? I'm looking for husband. Okay, how many are they? I have like seven guys. Oh, yeah, send their names. Then look at one, Kodri, Kodri something. This one, this, there's one Kodri that the father bought ram for me last year, December. I tell you, should be Kodri. But he said, I thank you, God has spoken. He said, I even felt <laughs> some prophecies that you cry to when they are telling you. The reason you are crying is not because it's God that is rebuking you. It is, it is sweeting your fleshly loss. Say, oh, Jesus, this is too good to be true. I like this one. <laughs> okay. I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem. What did God see? And someone say, already. Oh, People are behaving as if they are fast. I don't know fast. Let's read. I have seen in the prophets of Jerusalem and what? Uh huh. They commit and walk in. They strengthen also. 
that none doth return from his so so wait 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 evil doers let's let's use basic evil doers basic what ah, god we have some of you this night say amen ah, god, we have you. you are a yahoo boy then me i'm a prophet no god for me but anyway if i'm a prophet yeah it's a problem for you but you are a yahoo boy then somebody's a prophet and then you came you, you are not even afraid you are robbing people and you are looking for profit. Are you not? At least don't let emotion override reason. Now think now. And then you, you now brought seed to a prophet. Imagine in the days of Jeremiah and Isaiah. You, you brought seed to the prophet, to Elijah. And said, Daddy, I want my dad. I just say, I should bless you. Ah. You know what we have for you <laughs> It's already started that that's the last seed. In fact, that's if you are still alive. I like Elijah. I don't see he doesn't have time for. He will just go. <laughs> oh, where is the Lord God of Elijah? What's going on here? <laughs> Remember when, when, when God put, when God appeared to him, was to appear to Elijah. The Bible said there was fire, there was earthquake, there was God was not there. God was this this small voice. I'm sure Elijah will be like, ah, God, you should have done fire. I don't like what this is for. That was the only time the Bible said God appeared to him in this small. After that, time, it's only fire. He likes fire. So you brought a seed. You, you brought a seed to the prophet. And the prophet says, okay, you ought to travel tomorrow. And something ought to happen to you. But I, 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 I change it. Don't travel tomorrow. I, ah, I, Threatening the hands of evil doers. People will go to do ritual against another church member in the house of a so called prophet. And oh my dear, I hope it's not, it's not everybody that is reading Bible that knows the God of the Bible. I hope you know, even I'm Robert, they used to read Psalm 23 now. It is only you that is using Bible. That. And you, it's only your own grandmother's KJV that you have been using. Since. You've not bought anyone. So the Bible you are using, some of the years, not your own. So it's your roommate's Bible. You brought Indomie from Lagos. You didn't bring Bible. May the Lord show you mercy. <laughs> ah, <no. laughs> As, Jesus. Amen. Amen. As threatening also the answer of evil there. That none doth return from his wicked. Imagine. That means that if you are truly now now listen to this one now if you are attending church and the only prophecy you are receiving every sunday is this week your car will come see i'm not saying it's bad but uh, you that you have saved hundred thousand and the car was one twenty thousand how will your car not come it will come now prophesy something the prophets of the old testament were not prophesying car they were prophesying the will of God. God is telling you, repent. God is telling you, okay, I will bless you. God is telling you. That's how they were prophesying. I mean, what kind of rubbish happening on the internet now? In the name of prophetic, you are pouring coke and fanta. I said, people to are gullible. I put your head on that coke and fanta. Coke and fanta. They ought to drink. Okay, I don't even know if you can drink it. But they are putting your head here to wash, to wash the demon, to wash the spirit of bitterness away from your head. You don't know. You don't know spirits. You think they respond to your cock and fanta. Who are, but why are people not wise like this? Who has bewitched us? Which theology? Which Bible school? Normally, when, when, when a sinner come to church, correct church service, if there is a prophetic word according to the New Testament, because well, listen, because some say, eh, hey, prophetic in the Old Testament. It's not prophetic in the New Testament. The God of the Old Testament is the God of the New Testament. He said, no, no, it's just for edification. And what they mean by edification is just for romancing you. You don't know what prophecy is. That is what you say, we are not a prophet. <laughs> a prophet. The way to do you, you will know that it's not just uh, motivation now. Uh, you know, what you say, oh, don't worry, don't worry. You are in sin. But your results are not good. I said, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry what? You better worry quickly. Ah. 
they are all when you come to church correct prophecy according to Paul the apostle since some of you like Paul the apostle Paul said when you give prophecy in church when the unbeliever come among you and you give prophecy he should be afraid I should say, hey, you told me what was in my heart. You should bow to God and say, Jesus. That's what Paul said, promise. See, yeah, that man of God was accurate. You know, he, he just told me about clients. He told me on Monday. Uh, he gave me the... <laughs> it's a familiar spirit that is using you, not the Holy Ghost. It's not everybody that speaks in the name of Jesus that are from Jesus. The habit of... Uh, Oh my God. They are all of them unto me as Sodom. And the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. Next verse. In the days of Jeremiah, look up one, one thing, then we'll continue reading. In the days of Jeremiah, the moral decline in that nation, the fault, they didn't say it was the fault of the people. The prophet said the fault is the fault of the religious leaders. That means if there is immorality in the country, don't, don't first blame the people first. Blame who? We uh, okay, me I'm not <laughs> blame the leaders. No, me I'm not no I oh Jesus. I'm not speaking against authority. No, I'm not. I'm telling you that in the days of Jeremiah, when there was moral decline, it was because of the messages that were being preached. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because your doctrine makes you you your life is a manifestation of the doctrine that you believe. You may not believe it, but as you are, as a man, as he thinketh in his heart, huh? If you don't respect God in your life, it's not because you don't want to respect God. There's something you believe. If you don't fear sin, there's something you believe. If you love iniquity, but still speaking talk, there's something you. If you can continue in compromise and still come to the altar, you see, we are no more afraid now. In the Old Testament, eh? not the priest, the high priest. I hope you know in the Old Testament, it's not everybody that entered. Is see everybody that entered the holies of holies. How many of you have seen monkey before? <laughs> monkey. Where do they used to put their chain? On their hand? Where? It's a lie, it's not leg. Where? You, you, you saw monkey. They also saw a cartoon network monkey. They will put it on their waist. And just in case the priest can enter and die, have you? And they were not ashamed, you can die. There's nothing like forming there. No, you can die. But here, yeah, he says, it, you know, before you go, you already you have bitterness. The sister standing in front of you. Why are you this the sister? You, you hate that sister, you have bitterness, this sister. But you will still go and say, Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I, I perceive that the Holy Ghost is here now. The, you don't know the Holy Ghost. It's called the spirit of the fear of God. A roll on my back. I'm not saying uh, reverence. Fear, go, go. Fear. Uh. There's a way you know God. It's not my fear. You have to do. In the, how many people saw angels in the Bible? And the Bible said, when they saw angels, they rejoiced. What happened to them? They were afraid. Some of you say, they say, you say I see 20 angels. You, you, you see 20 angels. You. <laughs> why, why did you stop reading your Bible? Say, what? He said, I have seen 20 angels. It's just moving. And you, you, you know that. You are not. You know. Every I do word, where you get to heaven, that angel you saw. If you get to heaven, that one angel you saw. <laughs> so, yeah. That's why, you see that song. I see Jesus seated on you. The only reason I can see it is because the Bible says Jesus is seated. So, I'm believing. <laughs> it's not. Do you understand that? Ah, you think I've seen Jesus like I've seen? Ah. <laughs> when, when, Stephen, when, when Stephen was about to die, he saw Jesus. He's the only one in scripture that saw Jesus stand. You know Jesus used to sit down. The Bible says for Stephen. Because they were stoning him and he was about to die. The man was a kingdom man. Stephen still said, Father, forgive them. You, you will not say forgive them. I you know. You would, Father, may I mark your ass. And then you put some tongues up. You know, final tongue. Have it the final of the of the final of the final. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Then you die. Ah. You just say, okay, shine. Just, just enter. We'll talk later. Just enter. 
But, but, but Stephen said, Our father, lay not this charge against them. For, for this, this other to stand and say, ah, Stone is touching his head. You, you stop. They step on you during service, during that service, you were disconnected. It's not God who came to meet. The first time, ah, the usher, I don't like the seed they gave me. You, till now, you have entered Christianity now for 12 years since you were in this school. They will still beg you to go say they will drag you. The old church have to look at you and say, okay, okay, I didn't look, I didn't look at you. Okay, then you now sit down in the front and say, after service, you go and meet the usher. I don't like the way you put me in front. Where you put him in front again? No. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know the God you came to serve. Next time, when I shall tell you, you see that you'll be grateful that ah, ah, thank you. They say still unto them that despise me. Oh, this prophet, they are the one we are talking about. Today. The Lord has said, He shall have peace. <laughs> and they say unto everyone that won't get after the imagination of his own heart, no evil shall come upon you. And those ones will say, Amen. Verse 18. Read one, two, read. You are not ready. Some people don't like. I know you are ready. Those of you that have prophets, I didn't say no. Let's read. I have not. Yet they. So a man can run when he's not sent. He didn't say they even walked. He said they ran. And God did not say. I have not spoken to them yet. They so when I say I want to prophesy, what will you say? Pro, you want to prophesy. So when Isaiah wanted to prophesy, they, they would say, I want to prophesy. They say, Yeah, pro now. They say, I want to prophesy. Yeah, will you prophesy? <laughs> what's, what's wrong with us? No, it, it, no, no, it, it can't be normal. So I, I just I just feel like prophesy. You bought a new dress. That's the day the of prophecy came upon you. You are Kana. You are Kana. Okay, do that. Oh, wait, sister offends you. That's the day you enter prophecy so that you will do that star. It's me. I said, sister, wait. It's me. You are, let's talk. Alpha. It's me you are talking about. What did you say? Verse 22. Uh-huh. But if they are stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my word. Listen, the Bible didn't say cause your his people to hear your own word. It said cause my people to hear. If you're a minister, you cannot be traced to heaven. You are wasting the microphone battery. Drop it and go and go and do it. It says they cause my people to hear. Let them and cause my people to hear my words. Then they should have torn them from their evil way and from the evil. You see that if you're a leader here, this workers, do you know that God really counts on you? Do you see that? Because in your subgroup, if you if you don't cause them to hear the word of God, and you're busy with your own petty ambition and politics, there's trouble. Because today you will stand before God. The things I'm telling you now, they will. Okay, you know those that used to go to heaven, they say they will carry a tape recorder and be playing it. I don't know if there's tape recorder yet. It, it never. But I know that maybe somebody will want one plasma TV and be showing them. They say we're looking at it. <laughs> well, I, I don't. Some of us need to repent. The way, the way you, you are treating Jesus, and you are looking at. Imagine 50 years from now. Some of you know that you cannot be in the faith. It's not, it's not scam. Because even now you are not even you, you are not sure. You know they say if you are not sure of your salvation, let's talk. I don't know. I not if you are saved, you will know. Okay, let, let's let's not think by this book. Just give me verse 28 only because. Easy. No, no, give me that God at hand. You want to you want me to give me that God at hand. Give me that God at hand. <laughs> Verse 23. Uh-huh. Let's read now. Am I a God at hand? Say it. I'm not a God. You don't 
don't need ah. you need but you don't always need a pastor to hear the voice of God if you are born again the day you got born again you had the voice of God that's why you got born again And then he hide himself in secret places that I may not see. Say the Lord. Do I not feel heaven and yet hear the Lord? Verse 27. Okay. I have heard what the prophet said. That prophesy lies. Saying I have dreamed it. That one used to happen. This campus fellowship does have. People come and say, ah, president. I don't know if they were, maybe I don't know, but. I, at least I have some more, some more experience in my little life. President, I dreamed a dream. I saw that you are fornicating with prayer. Eight years in the dream, in that dream. And me, my own dream is never false. Timbala, Pastor. Ah. <laughs> and guess what? It's only the bad dream that I have a dream that explains the is always the good dream. So I ask, sorry, it's only your bad dream that it's Martin. Ah, whatever. But the good, have you ever had the good? The alpha, the D, we don't know. It's a familiar spirit. You won't dream good dream. <laughs> you dream. If I dream that somebody would die, the person would die. And if somebody truly dies, I say, aha. Your reaction to events actually shows us the source of the spirit that organized that inspiration. When you, the way you pray, we can know where. Uh, so you rejoice at the calamity of another because you prophesied it. And you, you are not God. Because God say, if you rejoice at the calamity of the wicked, He say, God will turn away from there and come and meet you and say, you are be. Then He will now multiply that whole trouble too and give you. <laughs> Verse 26. Aha! How long shall this be in the heart of my prophets? Of, uh, sorry, of the prophets that prophets. Yeah! They are prophets. Of the deceit, <laughs> do you know what I mean? They were never ordained, they made themselves, <laughs> they just you know, they, they, the Bible said their heart deceived them. They just look at that prophetic ministry. Oh man, when I say I'm a prophet, say, Wow, wow, man of God, wow, I'm a prophet. I just they go by white. Huh? <laughs> the anointing is not in the wearing the white, you can wear black, the Holy Ghost will stick with. Aha. Uh-huh. Which thing to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams? Which they tell every man to his neighbor as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. See verse 28. The prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream. He that hath my word, let him what? Speak my word. How? How? What is the chaff? To the wheat, you know there is a difference between chaff and and wheat. So what's the chaff compared to? Wheat? So say, see whatever vision you like to see. If it's not the Holy Ghost that inspired, who see it eighteen and it come to pass? You don't have to finish that scripture. Ah. Eh? Finish that scripture. Who see it eighteen and it come to pass? Eh? Hey. Please don't let prophet read that for you. Will read your Bible by yourself. Okay, let me teach you something. What the kingdom of God is not. The kingdom of God is not the exaltation of any superstar. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. I will say, Let his might be in you. As it was also in Christ Jesus. Who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. But did what? Uh, uh, if you are not quoting scriptures, you will stand up. Uh, he thought it's not robbery. Uh-huh. Okay, let's read. Who <laughs> being in the form of God thought it's not robbery to be equal with God. Uh-huh. But made himself of no he made himself of no reputation. Uh-huh. And took upon himself the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. Verse 8. And being found in fashion as a man, he did what? 
Do you see that humility is a choice? It's not everywhere you get to that you must show that you are no. Humility is a choice. You know more than your escorts and so that, that's why you are not an escort. I, I, I'm the one that want to be the assistant. Uh, I know. I, I saw the dream. You see that prophet speaking, man? No. There are things you feel you know, but you may not really know it as you ought to know it. So the reason why God is keeping it is because that you are not a leader. Does a leader? I mean, the, the position does not make you less to the person that is there now. Praise God. And became obedient unto death. Can you be obedient unto death as a Christian? That you will not deny your faith, even if they put a knife. All the fire fight. You see, when you see real life situation, when the <laughs> when they put knife now, they full and put knife now. All the old fire that you have been shouting since, you find out that you will remember that there was anything of <laughs> you will run away. You see that about a life on the altar that come what me whether you become any or don't become any you are sold out to Jesus that's kingdom the rule of God in your life that finds expression through your life that's kingdom I'm not giving you any Greek and Hebrew it's not as if I don't have an idea of Greek and Hebrew it's not about Greek and Hebrew it's about your heart because the kingdom of God is where we teach somebody say we did give me my even the death of the cross. It's not for superstars. No. So everybody wants to be popular. Okay. When you now become popular, to what end? Matthew 16, 26. Or it will pray, but there's Matthew 16 26. Can we read please? One, two, read. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world? Uh -huh. Or what shall a man give in exchange? If you gain your world, okay. So you live 35 years walking in a bank. For instance, and um, you only worked for the salary. You didn't work for God all your life. Is that wise? And then the year of the retirement, the person now dies. The children that didn't work anything, they will eat them. <laughs> Let your life be about service to God. Such that even when, when you graduate and you are working or whatever you are doing, it, 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 everything is for God. It's not for show. See, see God has helped us. If, if, if you want to do show, yeah, uh, show. I don't know if I can do show anyway, but if you want to do show, I can come now. We'll just put these three chairs in. I'll just stand on it. I'll just hey! <laughs> The power is not in the drama. Spiritual substance. One brother met me one time recently. So the brother said that uh, he was asking me about prophetic. Prophetic. He said he's, a, he's perceiving that he's a prophetic. He's a prophetic person. <laughs> then, so while we were talking, my eyes were open. I could see something. But. Uh, it's not everything that you see that you must say. So I just said, let me see. So it was like him eh, perceiving this thing, and he was telling me something. Like, ah, you came for counseling, you want to impress the person you came to counsel you. I mean, so he's tell, trying to tell me something. And you know me, I can't imagine. I say, ah, yes, sir. Ah, yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ah, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Ah. Ah, ah. And when he was there, and I, 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 and I felt for ah. We are making a big mistake in our days. We are equating, we are defining ministry the wrong way. If your definition of ministry is wrong, your pursuit of ministry should be wrong. 
and in the end you find out that you are not fulfilled because that's not ministry if you cannot be relevant without a microphone you are not in ministry and then uh, let them put my picture to the poster now uh, they die guy every picture oh, yeah, every picture Yee! they go to see this is how snap today they already stop me uh, <laughs> demons don't respect on this one if you see real demons, not this primary school that it is what they will The real one. The one inside. <laughs> oh, let's see the, huh? Have you casted that demon before? No. Some of you now, you know what I'm doing now. I'll be, I'll be making you when I, I see demons. Uh, you know the first thing you ah, let me ask for forgiveness of sin. Father, I've seen the case. But what shall it profit a man if he gains the world? Jesus is king. He was not elected into office. Huh? Was he elected? You voted for him. He's not elected. He's not a president. If he was not elected, that means he cannot be dethroned, Abby. Now, that means that he does not have tenure. Wait, think about, think about what you are saying. Though. If Jesus does not have tenure, you don't know what that means. That means if I yield my life to him, even if I die serving him, he still, he pay me. Oh, pain. Yeah? He pay for you. This one is, he pay. <laughs> Praise God. Because even in death, God keeps his own. Even in death. In death, God keeps his own. Ah, there is one hymn we used to sing. Abide with me. Fast falls thy even time. Do you know that hymn? You don't know him. When darkness deep. Some of you just read secondary school. You don't know the hymn. Abide. Uh-huh. Those ones that went to secondary school. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Ah, bye. Some of you didn't use SOP. Uh, you see, it's no wonder they are doing revalidation. Some of you didn't go to secondary school. <laughs> ah, bye. There's one that says, I fear no foe with thee at hand to bless. He says, Eels have no weight and tears, no bitterness. He says, I'll triumph still if thou. But this one is no more if. When. When thou abide. Remember the kingdom of God. One of the parables is like a seed. If you kill one million pastors, their, their blood is a seed. Others will rise again and they will continue. Jesus' kingdom does not have tenure. So that means that in him we can be secure. You see that now? So is it wise to live for him or not? Think, think very well. Is he wise? So what's the opposite of is he wise? So if you are not living for him, you are uh, you said it. I don't know how to it today. Okay, write this down. The Lordship of Christ. Ah. Isaiah chapter 9. But he's, presently now, Isaiah is my man. Presently, Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Remember the prophecy. Unto us, a child is born. Huh? Unto us, a son is given. The government shall be... The government shall be... Upon where? Why? I know the government shall be upon his head. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. And his name shall be called. Now, do you notice they didn't say his names? His name shall be called. Please say it very well. Is this how you used to call your own Jesus? Jesus. One sister is still looking at his name. 
call it one to go. One. Uh -huh. Now, now, wait, we will call it again, but think, think what you are saying. One to go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Hi. You did finish. Read it again. One da. Uh huh. Huh? One, two, ready, read. Of the increase of what? Whose government? Your government. Uh -huh. Dear. And peace. Now, one question. Any. Oh, no, let me not. Let me rephrase that question. Prepare you for exam. Let me rephrase that question. Anywhere God's government is not, is there peace there? But if his government is there, is there peace? Eh? So if you are not experiencing peace, that means eh, you said, you said the increase of his government and peace. The, the, the area of your life you're having problem is that area that there's no increase of his. Upon the throne of David <laughs> and upon his kingdom to order it and to es ah, establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts. The words of Jesus, they are law. The word is law, meaning it must be obeyed. If Jesus says, hey, I'm giving you advice, it's, even his advice is a command. Of the increase of his government, an unfading government, no expiry date government. It's not a democracy. You, you can do whatever you like on it. When you die, you know that. People that say they don't believe that Jesus is Lord now, you are just joking now. Don't worry. Don't be okay. Believe what uh, if you don't want to be, don't worry. But when you die and you get here, the one of the first people you will meet is the rich man. You will say, Ah, bros, me, I even asked Father Abraham to make me evangelist to go and tell my family that uh, God, God is real. But Abraham said, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. The people say they don't believe God, Jesus is Lord, and we are still arguing. I, I think. Uh, the day I was small, since I was young, I'm getting old. You have time. You don't believe that Jesus is Lord. Okay. <laughs> when you die, but the problem is if you die, you now later believe. It's too late. You see that? Jesus is the owner of all things. That means that, remember the Bible began to speak about Jesus. The brightness of God's glory and the express image of his person. Hebrews chapter 1 from verse 1. Do you remember? God, who had sovereign sundry times and in diverse manner spoken to us by the Father as a prophet, as in this last day spoken to us through his son. Eh? The heir of all things. I, I, do you remember? Upholding all things by the word of his by the way, by the word of his say power, by the word of his uh, who had by himself caused all things. He said, and sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. So you will see that Jesus is not in the class of any angel. Is greater than the angels. Is greater than Father Abraham. Is greater than Moses. Is greater than everything. And his word is law. There is no limitation to his power. Yet he chose that. Okay, I'm going to become man in order to die to redeem you, so that you can continue. That what Jesus came to do on earth was to show you a sample. How many of you are in a science department here, faculty? There's something they call sample, right? What sample now? You say all of you say yes now. What sample? Okay, if you're a tailor here, yeah. is there any tailor here? Yeah. There's something they call sample, Abby. What sample? No one said gown. How can the gown be the sample? What is sample? The something that they show you first, Abby. Okay. Uh, brothers, when we used to play dice, there's something they call Tospi. What's Tospi? Your table tennis. What's Tospi? Tospi is to 
Okay, if you used to eat suya, there's something they call tasty. Yeah? Ah, ah. Bring your mind back. Leave the suya man. Come back. Here, man. <laughs> what Jesus came to do was to give you a speak. Because in Luke chapter 10, when he appointed the 12 and he sent them out, the Bible said, when they came back, what did they say? They rejoiced. They said, even the demon subject to us in your name. Jesus said, eh, I beheld Satan fall as like I've, I've already seen it. It has already, for Jesus, it's already a past tense. So for you, it's just to come and enforce it in the present tense reality. So that means that what Jesus did, we can do. Say amen. What Jesus did, you can do. Please say after me, say what Jesus did. <laughs> say what Jesus did. I can't do. Ask your neighbor, say, do you believe it? What did the person say? Uh, what did the person say? In every kingdom, the glory of the king is in the prosperity and peace of his citizens. You don't know a king by just his regalia. You look at his citizens. If his citizens are not being okay, that means that, that even that king he himself needs help. Remember when the Queen of Sheba went to visit Solomon? Remember Solomon? How many of you know Solomon? Solomon. Solomon. How many of you know Solomon? What happened to him? The Queen of Sheba went to visit him, Abi. Okay, a queen went to visit him, Abi. The Bible says the queen didn't first look at him. Who did she look at? The servant. And the queen was like, no, no, no. If the servant can be dressing like this, we are Rolex here, no, too. I didn't say that, but she looked. <laughs> yeah, yet canon, please. He looked at the apparel, and she was like, "Wow, see the excellence." That means Solomon said, "Half of what was told me, what I'm seeing is no is far greater." So that means that people cannot see Jesus. I want to start preaching now. People cannot see Jesus, but they can see the church. They can see. They can see. <laughs> but where is the power of Jesus? Oh, yeah. Jesus said, if I by the spirit of God, the finger of God cast out devils, then the kingdom of God is where? Oh, Jesus. The kingdom of God is where? Why would I go? The kingdom of God is but it's, it's come here to manifest. Listen, the power of God is not in heaven waiting for the power in heaven let's be sincere the power of God is not in heaven God did not keep it somewhere the power of God is in the person of the Holy Ghost the, po- the power of God is in the person of who ah, as I'm saying it now my spirit is already leaping for joy the power of God is in the person of the Holy Spirit most times when you read scripture you study the bible very well systematically you will notice that every time the bible talks about and the finger of god and the hand of god he's not actually just talking about one hand somewhere he's the ministry of the holy ghost the bible says the lord shall send the rod of your strength out of zion rule down in the midst of your enemies thy people shall be willing in the days of thy power so the proof that there is power in your life is that there is a willingness to do the will of god if there is no willingness to serve God, there is no power. Your tongues may be strong, it is not. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. See, the power, the power of God is in the church. Please repeat after me. The power of God. Say it like you mean. Say the power of God is in the church. Shout it one more time. One more time. Two more times. Who is the church? So where is the power of God? The Bible says that where the word of a king is, there is power. Is that true? And you said... The spirit of God is where? Is where? Is inside. So where's the king? Where's the king? He's coming. Where's the king first? 
So, if a king is in a place, are there things that should be possible there? Ah, so you said, somebody said no. Are there things that should be possible if a king is in a place? Give me an example. I know some of you have never been to village in the game battle because the, the witches there, they are waiting for you. don't want to go. Those of you that, where a king is, what do you use to see there? Yeah. Give me an example. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, yeah. yeah. Eh? One of the first things you see where a king is, is there's majesty. Is that true? There, there is dignity. Is that true? He says, so when a lady is walking around on the street almost naked, is there dignity there? And she says she's a princess. Which princess are you? <laughs> then the prince is wearing torn jeans. The Let me, not, let me not talk about it this time. Some people are ready. Uh, some people who came with me or would visit our guests already know what I want to touch. But I don't know, I know what to touch this night. The Bible says, Woe to that city whose king is a child. One of the biggest signs of childishness is mannerlessness. Is that true? A ch- does a child have manners? Yes, much it. He can peace you on the rock now. You, your guest, you have cleaned the whole house. You will peace on the rock. Is that true? Why? Is a, is a, is a what? Uh, so you are walking on the street with diapers, something like diapers, baby. I am walking around. Yeah, baby. <laughs> okay, leave that. Uh, where the king is, there is dignity. What else again? Where the king is now? What else? Where did he <laughs> Eh? Where the king is, there's what? Authority. Ah. Oh. You have struck. As you said it now, you have struck something. You remember this song? Um, uh-huh. We declare your majesty. Oh, oh, ah. <laughs> You see now, as you sang that song, the heavens are open. You, some of you will see some poss- possibilities this, this night. It's not, this is not a, a try to make it. No. See, because every time in, in the old or your empire, ah, my spirit is still. In the old or your empire, one there's something they call. I don't know if you did your robot in secondary school, there's something they call your mercy. But your, your mercy of God cannot impeach him, he's the one that created them. But the beautiful thing now is that um, they used to do uh, uh, the people that used to uh, eulogize the king. Is that the word now? Uh, uh, now how do they they say Kadekbe Kibata Inuguration of this Inuguration of Bata? We see who is now. But guess what? He lives on your inside. So, so now this is it you are not looking for God's presence the presence of the king you are not looking for it you know why <sighs> you are not looking for the presence the Christian is the presence of God on earth ah ah <laughs> First Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 let's strike a chord and pray there is there, there is a river already. I, I need somebody on that jump set now. Come on, give me symbols. Just strike that, that my friend. Uh huh. Strike something. Let's. Because you see, now, this night now, this, we will do VG, but now first. Some, some. One of the things that will happen is that see, 
when, when we eulogize the king or we worship the king one of the things he does is that when the king comes to a place he does not come empty handed have you ever you see anything you see traveling empty handed it's not a first class king the bible says when god enters a place the bible says the, tra- the robe of his train fills just worship him where you are we are talking about the king let him hear your voice from the inside.
we come in and speak in God. Ah, all of my devotee do, yeah, way, the pop, I am a lama You are the covenant to bring God. We will worship, we will worship you. We Concentrate now, concentrate now. This is the king. We are talking about the king. Ah, Lord, I enter the holy. I see many things happening already. Already. Already by the finger of the spirit. Oh my God. I enter. I enter. I enter. 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 I enter. I enter to worship. I enter. I enter. I'm 
you. Some of you, your spiritual ears will be open. You rise forever, your name is Adonai. I am the Braska. You are the Holy Ghost. Don't be fought and do it. I am the Balada Bacadamus. Shemena Male, Shemena Manus, and in a man. Sakata Balada. You are might, 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 ah. Oh my God. Oh me, Behold the love of God. Ah, 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 ah. My God, of all brothers and sisters, does not matter where you are. The hand of God will reach you. The hand of God will reach you. The hand of God will reach you. My Father, I ask, as many that I utter the sound of my voice, uh, that need to come into a realm, another realm, if they are one with you. Father, 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 where are they? Where are they? Let your hand come upon them. Let your hand come upon them for fresh encounter with the Holy Ghost. The hunger, 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 the there are nine people here now under the sound of my voice the Lord has been telling you about a new season a new season there is a dissatisfaction with where you are and the Lord has been telling you about a new season and I hear in my spirit new wine I want to count one to five by the mercies of God as many who have been ordained for this ordination in this time of your life where confusion seems to be the order of the day. Ah, uh-huh. Shabala da Bande Pranda Spamela Mosh. Upon brothers and sisters, my father, as many who are here, crying for a visitation. Right now, 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 right now. Jesus, 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 that's right, Jesus, 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 that's right, that's right, Jesus, oh God, ah, that's not my fault, that's not my fault, Jesus, Jesus, ah, 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 my God, 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 my Wherever you are, I stretch my hands towards you and I declare right now activation, activation. I am that part, of apostolic fire. Oh my God, oh my God. It's time, it's time. It's time to hear the voice of God. It's time to hear the voice of God. Touch, 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 touch. Another measure, holy ghost. Another 1,000.
upon you. Lose your grip right now. I declare a release, a release, a release, a release of the oil of joy, of the oil of joy, of the oil of joy. Ababa, ababa, obera, obera, ne, ambrados, embreteka. They shall speak a new I ask for fresh fire, for fresh fire, upon your spirit, upon your spirit, oh Jesus. Is your voice we want to hear, and your face we want to see. The Lord said, I should destroy certain yokes here. The yokes of darkness upon anybody under the sound of my voice. The Bible says, In that day, the body shall be lifted, and the yoke, the yoke shall be. Ay, 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 ay. Let the the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. I declare now every yoke of darkness against your ordination in God. One, two, three, four, four. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Let your spirit. The Bible says they shall speak with new tongues. They shall speak with new tongues. Oh my God. confusion. I, I, I perceive so strong in my spirit. There is a kind of confusion that has hindered some of you from fulfilling purpose. There, there is a con- you, you are stopped in a place. You cannot even think beyond, beyond campus. You are trying to find out what your life will be, but there is a distraction. Lift up your two hands if you can. Jesus. Jesus. You are what tells us? He says you shall hear a voice behind you. Say it. This is the way walking in it. I ask right now, as many who are under the sound of my voice, 
whose heads are lifted and desire to hear the voice of God. I pray as many whose hands are lifted, let it with confusion, oppressed by the enemy, stagnated wherever you are. As I lift my right hand by the mercies of God, oh my God, oh my God, ah uh-uh. ah, uh-uh. now as I sing the song. Some of it to be as if the veil was taken away from your head. Yes, yes. I ask for light, 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 I am the man of God. Light. Listen now. The hand of God is going to come upon a brother in this place. Upon a brother. I I see that God is doing a new work in your life. A brother. I think you are in 200 level. A brother. The hand of God is going to touch him and some other people. Some of you, you are not baptizing the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Wherever you are, the hand of God will reach you. But you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost uh, is come upon you. It's come upon you. It's come upon you. It's come upon you. Oh, Jesus. I pray now as many, as many who need a fresh fire, as many who need the power of the Spirit, as many who need grace, 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 who need grace to do the will of God, to do the will of God. Grace, grace, oh my God, oh my God, I ask the fire of evangelism, evangelism, grace. Passion, passion. Oh my God. I'm, I'm seeing grace. Grace, grace, grace. The Lord says, wipe your tears. Wipe your tears. Wipe your tears. The lion of the tribe of Judas prevailed. Oh my God. Oh Jesus. You are like a stone rejected. But the Lord says, I'm making you a chief cornerstone. Thou, O Lord, that a shield for me. You are my glory and the lift up of my head. Aha. Uh-huh. Whatever has bowed your head before, it's time, it's time. Arise, arise, shine, shine. For your light is come. For your light is come, my sister. Oh my God. Weeping and sorrow shall flee away. The kingdom has come to stay. Oh my God. You have been rejected, but the Lord loves you. The Lord loves you. The Lord, oh my God. Grace. 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 Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Oh God. The Lord says he's purifying some of you prophetically. He says some of you are prophetic gifting, but you have a lot of carnality. You have a lot. The Lord says he's purifying the prophetic in your midst in this fellowship. He's purifying the prophetic. He's purifying the prophetic. Father, I ask as many without grace, as many without grace, as many without grace, 
as many without grace. Let your potting fire. Your, there is a potting fire. There is a potting fire. Thank you, sir. Ah. Oh my God. Ah, tonight will be mighty. Hello, him, Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done tonight. Hello, him, Adonai, thy kingdom come. I will be hello in my Now concentrate with your eyes. Abalada Bakos. 